Hi, welcome to our virtual story hour. My name is Olivia Mello and I'm the library director for the New Bedford Library and I'm here today with our youth services librarian Bethany Coito who will also be reading a story with a theme of uh, census um, since we are at involved in the census 2020 right now and we're encouraging everybody to count and to do their census we thought that doing a story time which had been planned for us to do while we were open to the public uh, but since we're closed we're doing it for you virtually and hopefully our message will get across to every household in New Bedford and beyond that everyone counts and everyone should be doing the census so I'll start my story with everyone counts by Judy Sierra and illustrated by Mark Brown, who's one of our favorite illustrators uh, in the library world. Everyone Counts by Judy Sierra, illustrated by Mark Brown. It started out small, with no creatures at all, just a musty old, dusty old tumble-down mall. Then along came Dakota, the tiger cub, who saw the tumble-down mall and imagined a zoo. But to build a new zoo takes a mighty big crew. Two rough, two rhinos arrived with a crash. And they swept out the mall and they bulldozed the trash. A cricket, cricket jumped up, then an ant, then a bee, a rhinoceros beetle, a wasp, and a flea, a spider, a mantis, a moth, and a fly. We can help build a zoo, buzzed the fly. Let us try. Not a chance, said rhinos. You bugs are too small. You're, you're pests, you're annoying. You don't count at all. Three lemurs rolled paint on the walls and the stairs. Four oryx cut windows, some circles, some squares. Five bears carved out burrows and tunnels and lairs. Six giraffes raised up towers much taller than trees. Seven bats lifted banners that blew in the breeze. Make way for the playground, eight elephants cried. Nine moose dug a moat, nine feet deep, nine feet wide. Ten crocodiles sculpted a grand water slide. They asked all of their friends to climb up for a ride. But two rough, two rhino, tough rhinos were blocking the way, snorting. This is our slide, no one else gets to play. Then silently, stealthily, down from the sky, came the spider, the mantis, the moth, and the fly, along with the cricket, the ant, and the bee, the rhinoceros beetle, the wasp, and the flea. One bug crept in each ear, while the three snuck up each snout. Do bugs really count? We're about to find out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Two rough, tough rhinos sneezed, Hachoo! as into the air they flipped and they flew. Ugh. The rhinos were rubbing their noses and ears, crying nearly 1,000 rhinoceros tears. We're sorry, they blubbered, for bullying you. We're rough and we're tough, but we don't rule the zoo. The animals rocketed onto the slide for an up and down, all around fabulous ride. They swooped and they bounced and they looped and they pounced. Then Dakota, the tiger cub, proudly announced, our zoo is the best because everyone counts. The end. So there you go, everyone counts. Everyone counts in our city from zero to 100 years old. 
So please, when you enter your data in the census, going, go to www.census.gov, and when you enter your data, please be sure to count everyone in your household from babies to seniors. We need to make sure that our children are accounted for because this is a 10-year census and this is what will dictate the funding that we get from the federal level for schools, for highways, for bridges, for hospitals, and uh, for uh, libraries. We depend on federal census data in order for us to apply for grants that would be of benefit to the library and to you. So please take the census. So now I'll turn over the next story to our Youth Services Librarian, Bethany Coito, who some of you might be familiar with already if you've been coming to the library for story times and for our programming. Bethany has been doing quite a bit of extensive programming here at the library, and um, so I will let her uh, read the next story for you. Okay. So for our next story time, we're going to be reading Whose Hands Are These? A Community Helper Guessing Book. So part of the census is we need to know how many community helpers we need in our community. So whose hands are these? By Miranda Paul, illustrations by Luciana Navarra Powell. Hands can wiggle, hands can clap. Hands can wrap and flap and tap. But hands can help, so raise yours please. Can you guess whose hands are these? Oh and so these hands are soiled. See Sweep and reap, these hands have toiled. In the barn, these hands are charmers. These hands belong to many farmers. Choose, peruse, these hands are picky. Mix and mash, these hands are sticky. These hands flip through food stained books. These hands belong to gifted cooks. Stop and go, these hands are waving. Catch that guy, he's misbehaving. These hands help us keep the peace. Hold yours up, it's the police. Question test, these hands are turning. Test again, these hands are learning. Weigh and count, their work persists. These hands belong to scientists. Push and play, these hands are shaping. Wet with clay, these hands are scraping. These hands keep on adding water. These hands are great of one great potter taking notes these hands are writing breaking story how exciting these hands can type or hold recorders these hands belong to news reporters yank and crank these hands are smeared reach and wrench they've disappeared when something breaks these hands don't panic these hands belong to a mechanic dream and sketch these hands draw lines stack and build they form designs measure twice check all the specs these hands belong to architects arms up high these hands keep score throwing flags they say no more each hand signs and oversees these hands belong to referees Rub and scrub, these hands are clean. Wearing gloves, these hands are green. These hands all have healing missions. These hands belong to your physicians. Come on in, these hands wave sweetly. Caked in chalk, these hands write neatly. These hands are for kids and creatures. These hands belong to helpful teachers. Greeting, eating, dressing, sharing, cleaning, caring, or repairing. Let your hands try something new. One day, what could your hands do? The end. Right. We hope you have enjoyed these stories, and we have more ebooks available online. We have our Overdrive, Hoopla, and Tumble Books collections. They're all free and available with your library card. If you need help, please call the library to access these. We are available through phone, email, and I also want to say that we have our writing contest still available online. If you want more information, just give us a call. Thank you for joining us virtually for our story times, and we hope to be able to do a few more of these with the help of New Bedford Cable Network. Um, stay tuned, and uh, we'll you know stay safe, stay well. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.